Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for watching another of uh, our videos. Uh, this is a new segment in the channel. I actually have a Deadpool hat toy uh, from the Deadpool 2 movie. It's supposed to be a replica exactly the same as in the movie. Uh, it's a 12-inch toy, so it's very big and very expensive. You know how much those toys go for. Uh, and, uh, he's not really into toys, so I really want to bring him into this world of toys and a lot of uh, expensive hobby you can say it's very expensive but it's very beautiful in my eyes he never he doesn't have these kind of things you know what i mean so let let him unbox it and take a look at oh, it first of all i want to know why it's called hot toy i really don't know that's a chinese when you brand. said it, i thought it was like an edible or something like that called hot toy. it sounds like like some sex kind of thing hot toy hot toy you know so actually in my opinion due to the price point of this thing because it's in the couple hundred dollars it's not meant meant for kids okay this thing is meant for adults so actually i would say it's an action figure all right this is uh i guess there's stickers too yeah there's a couple right. stuff and a bunch of stuff in here this is like a backdrop or something yeah it's a backdrop so you right. can actually have it in a shelf uh, I actually have a plexiglass kind of show. Right. Have, have they seen this already? Or? No, no, um, they haven't seen okay. it. So I'll show the other uh, backdrop over here. It's pretty much a brick wall that says Deadpool 2. Yep, and that backdrop is expensive. Uh, it's not coming out, I don't want to break it. Um, all right, there we go. Show Deadpool 2, brick wall on a 90 degree angle. 45. I don't, I don't remember trigonometry. I think that's a 90 degree angle. For what I learned in school. All right, plastic. That this goes is probably in. the backdrop. Yeah, that goes in, uh, in the back. Make stickers and other stuff <laughs> uh, I've never seen before. So I this is a fucking coat hanger. Oh yeah, for this, look. It actually brings a shirt. <laughs> I, I can't wait for him to really see the, the whole details. This is like Barbie for guys. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what you can say, Barbie for guys, but a way more. Just looking at that, what do you think is the price range? Well, you said it's two hundred dollars. Oh shit, that blew it up. But it, it's, with taxes and everything, is more. There's a lot of fucking detail on this thing. That's a knife that goes in the leg. Uh huh. Wow. That's really nice. That's all the fingers and uh, I love how the texture is because I actually have a Deadpool suit as you guys can know and it's very like detail exactly to the same of it. I, I don't know how they do that. Look look at that yeah, crazy the, the, the detail. Very de it's very detailed. Um, you can see the grains on the fingers. And um, in the suit too. Like the lead texture. I just I think that must be some kind of hard work. And you see this those little knives. I don't know how the fuck they do them. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it actually looks like metal. They are metal. metal. Yeah. They are metal. It's pretty cool. So that's why this is not for kids because imagine they can hurt themselves. This over here does something else that I don't know where it comes from. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's just like cool. advertisement or whatever. Yeah, I guess you use use it. All right, let's crack this thing open. All right. Okay. So first look. I do have to say that the last time I took it out, I kind of messed up the belt a little bit because it's very, very, very. All right. Here's know. the gun. I don't know if you guys you see it from there, but very detailed. You, you, you even see that uh, how it looks. It looks like it just shot some fires. Uh, uh, look at this. Look, look at that handle and everything. This is just crazy. All right, got different kinds of eyes for different kinds of uh, expressions. Expressions. You want to take it out, see how it is? And look, look at this. Touch this. It's fabric. Even yeah. if you don't believe it, look. Yeah. look. I wonder how they make that. that that's what they get like little people to do it hmm it's just all I, I didn't think it was gonna move 
it moves. And the That's shoulder awesome. pads, uh, it's actually, well, what kind of material do you think it is? Like this? Kind of feels like leather. Uh, it's not rubber, right? No. Look at all the stitching, um, you know. Look, look at that stitching. How the how they do that? Look, look at this. It even has a zipper. I don't think you can take it off, but uh, it has a zipper and everything. It's just details on it. Pretty yeah. insane, in my I, opinion. You can tell like they took their time with this. Yeah, and I feel it's a very expensive toy, but at the same time, for everything they put it, and it's it's worth it. Mm -hmm. and then you can exchange the hands and all that. You just press it hard. It's not gonna break. Even move the hand. Yeah, right. the belt is unbuckled. What were you trying to do with it, bro? No, no, nothing bad. Getting excited? No. I thought you could take it off, so I just pulled it and I, I uh, took it apart. I thought you could open the the belt pouches, but they don't. Because mm -hmm. I seen in other ones they do. It's like a little foamy. Yeah. Brings more stuff. Oh, look, look! It brings the whole jersey. You want to open? I never opened this thing. Before it brings a unicorn. Mm -hmm. So you put the jersey over him. Yeah, you could actually put the, the shit on the coat hanger. You could do both. I seen pictures of people put the the jersey on. I really don't know how. Trainee. I guess it must be a lot of work to put it on. Very cute. Like you said, Barbie for kids. For <laughs> Pretty for, much, man. For adult boys that <laughs> have a lot of money in their hands. I, I think it's worth it because I'm, I'm a big fan. Oh, that's how the swords take them out. Take actually the swords out. Did they, uh, shoot. And look, it's metal. You can sharp it and make it actually very dangerous if you want to. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's metal. And look at the detail in the back. Look at the yeah. handle. Yeah. They, they even put the name. Look. Ben. Bia. Bia. That's what it's supposed to say on uh, Arthur. I don't know how they did that. It looks, mm -hmm. it's painted. I'm trying to put it on him. Just put him in there. Ah, oh, it's magnetic. Yep. Very cool. Oh, look, this is, it brings this. Oh, shit, can you take it out? What do you think? For that's that's tiny in my opinion. What do you think? The pain, the work, and everything. What is this? A stroke holder? <laughs> it's, it's, um, um, well, did you watch the movie or not? <laughs> I think so. I don't. Well, I remember this part though. Th this part is so, they put that so he loses his powers. It's against mutants. It's like. Oh, uh, okay. I think I remember that. Yeah, it would be cool if it highlights, but it's too small. Uh huh. So it's very good as a replica. No, it is. Yeah, they put a lot of work into this. Change the eyes, see how it is. This is I, I feel like the whole expression gives it a whole different look and it's a very... How easy is it? It's very easy. I'm surprised there's not a face behind there. It would be cool. But I yeah. think they wouldn't make it a lot, uh, make it more more expensive. What I've seen a lot of people online though do is uh, 3D print the, the face and they just make it interchangeable. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're gonna mess up the toy, but. Nice. I like it. Now you gotta show it to them. See. Just make sure it's nice and snug in there. There you go. So right there, guys. And, and I, there's a lot more. There's like two one two three four four different sets so four different kinds of uh reactions or like torsion moves too yeah the only issue is because it's fabric you cannot really twist it too much because i heard it rips and i'm not trying to go that far what do you think of the gun holsters 
Oh, they they look good. I I never really paid attention to that until right now. No, yeah, they're, they're good. Let's see if they go. What is this shit? Oh, it's for this. So you can put him in a uh, different positions. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that. And you. Oh, look at all the shoes. It brings another pair of shoes <laughs> from the movie too. They actually. Yeah, this is definitely Barbie for guys, man. I hope you liked it. Okay. Oh, I think it needs that part there. Oh. Well, this is a little issue with this uh, toy. Because it, oh, it got stuck in the boot? Yeah, it got stuck in the boot. Oh. But well, we, we don't have to change it. Let's keep it manly for now. For now, yeah. That's the only issue I noticed uh, when you are changing the hands on uh, the feet. It gives you a little issue because of how tight it is. But what, what happened with you, the gun, man? Oh, oh, it's in the gun holster. Oh, okay. Huh. Get oh, the fuck no. out of here. This fucking cocks. I didn't know That's that. That's insane. All right, oh, I gotta show them. What? Are That's you serious? That's fucking insane. All right. Gun. Cocks. You can see a bullet in there. That's insane. I wonder if the magazine fucking pops. That would be out of this fucking world. Oh, get the fuck out of it here. It does pop? Look at this shit. What the Now, fuck? that's something I could get fucking behind. What? That's insane. No way. I didn't even know this. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I did not know. I actually I didn't know. That was done with the gun and I've been having mm -hmm. it for a while. But I always had it in the box because I feel it's a very expensive toy and I'm gonna really hit it from my kit because yeah. he can swallow this and all that and break it uh, very easy. This is very cool. I'm very impressed about this. I never knew he even did that. That's freaking sick. How do you do it? Just pull it out? Um yeah, so cock it. That's fucking insane. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's awesome. I didn't know. Damn. For photos, this is the best though. Mm-hmm. For photos, you give it a real realistic look. You just gotta get the micro lens. And it'll bring this guy to life. And honestly, it even brings the unicorn. So all right, so you gotta do the review by yourself because uh, I'm I'm a big toy collector, so I will give it a review that is not fair to people that don't really collect this kind of toys. Oh, so you mean like to? Yeah, give it, it a, yeah review. Give it the bad, the good, the evil, and the purpose. Um, very detail oriented. The uh, the clothing's got all the texture in there. You can see it's actual leather or fabric or whatever um it articulates that's my bad trolley how the boots uh the shin guards what about the details uh, it looks that? real the belt holsters the stitching you ever seen oh you've seen the deadpool suit right that i have so mm -hmm. you can actually compare it to that mm -hmm. no, it looks like the real thing they even gave him his body shape that's fucking insane yeah, that's to me, it's just crazy. The head moves as much as it could or something like that. Yeah, it's like one of those toys I used to have like in 1990s, but they put the, the clothes over it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But the clothes and all the little details from the day that well, you can see the future because uh, this is <coughs> something else in my opinion. Very detailed, very good, very expensive too. And I, it looks like it's a lot of work just to make one piece. So imagine maybe they do it in a big factory. I really don't know how they really handle this, but the detail. Yeah, there's things. a lot of quality control that went into that. Yeah, you have to make sure every stitch and everything goes in the right place. And it must be annoying trying to build this thing, honestly. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it by hand, how they scope this whole thing. Look, even the ears, you can touch the ear. Yeah. And this is not the, I don't know if this is fabric, but 
you know, or it's just plastic that feels like fabric. But the whole thing, you can see the mouth shape, the nose, and all that little detail. It, in my opinion, gives it a whole different perspective of a toy that is not a toy, it's an action figure that is very expensive. Like he said, a Barbie for a boys or adults, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. The question is, would you ever purchase something like this? No. You see, guys, everybody had the different perspective because it's pricey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, interested. honestly, I will have no use for it. That's that's the, the other thing. People like me, we're just big fanatics. And that's what we do in this segment because he's a person that <clears> likes <throat> different things and I like different things. So it's going to be a whole different perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, first, it was expensive for you, right? Yeah, yeah since yeah, very expensive. Absolutely. $200, yeah. No use for it because you are not into this. Uh, there, why not? Huh? Third, third of all, any other reason why you wouldn't get it? Uh, I just don't like it. I mean, it's it's really nice. I can see why people why people are fans of it would like it, but it's it's just not for me. It's not in his alley, so that's why. He is not into this thing, but you enjoy, you still enjoy seeing it and maybe taking pictures, using it for certain mm -hmm. projects, but not to buy it and to own it. Only because it's a waste of money in, in that sense. If you're not going to use it or enjoy looking at it, it's no point. Mm -hmm. Correct. Well, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate the time you took to watch this video um, for him to just help me out with this video. Comment down below, like, <laughs> subscribe. Looks like he's got a camel toe. Look, <laughs> look at that little things he looks at. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, right? Yeah, the light hits it right there. Looks like he's got a camel toe. You see the <laughs> things. That's things I don't notice. I look at all the things, not this. That's why I need his help. So thank you for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. Like I say, uh, nah, I'll, I'll put the link for his videos down below. So check out his channel. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Thanks, guys.